XXH3 plus 33 Beit Nehemia Israel. And it's down onto the red balloon. Goes. Easy. Just point and shoot. Anyone can do it. So this is the grouping. We have five shots here. One, two, three, four, five. No human can reach this accuracy, especially when he's under pressure. So my name is Shachar Gal. I'm CEO of General Robotics. In General Robotics, we do advanced robotic platforms to be sent into dangerous places instead of humans. We're in a very exciting time. We're just starting, we're at the beginning of seeing robots entering the battlefield. We want to have less and less humans inside the battlefield and have robots fight themselves. At the end, they're machines, they can be replaced, they can be fixed, humans not. What you see here is a UGV. Now we're installing on top of it a Pitbull light weapon station. The Pitbull is a remote weapon station. It can be installed on any kind of platform. It can be a manned platform or an unmanned platform. It can be at the land or at sea or at the air. You see that she's not touching the joysticks, but the system is tracking automatically the drone. The crosshair is not where the drone is at now. It's where it's going to be when the bullet is going to hit him. That's the calculation of what we do. It's a smart algorithm. The system does everything for her, except to take the decision if to shoot or not to shoot. But Karen is relaxed. She has all the information, and if she decides she, to take the shot, she will probably hit because of that algorithm. I know that most people, when you talk to them about robots that have guns, they think they envision the Terminator. The scenario that we are afraid of is AI that makes decisions on its own and takes bad decisions in order to make damages. It's essentially, it's a machine that will have its own entity and decide for itself what's good, what's bad, and what's needed to do without us humans having control. I will turn it again. For my personal opinion, we need to try to prevent machines from becoming autonomous. We would always want to have a human involved in the loop. One is to supervise the system, and the other reason is to be responsible.